With there being over 30 Fortnite seasons and 5 chapters over the past 7 years, there has been thousands of Fortnite pros that have surfaced the internet. With there being millions of dollars up for grabs if you are a pro player. And additionally, with there being over 520 million registered users, who was the best Fortnite player of every chapter? In today's video, I'll be showcasing who the best Fortnite player was of every chapter. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. When Fortnite was released back in 2017, it quickly became the best and most popular game of the year, with there being millions of players signing up every single day. But amongst the massive crowd of Fortnite players that were playing the game back in Chapter 1, there was one player in particular that stuck out from the rest, and this player was also a well-known streamer, and would quickly become one of the most well-known content creators, streamers, and pros back in Chapter 1 of Fortnite. And this player will be none other than Tifu. Tifu was around 20 years old back in Chapter 1, and the first sign of Tifu was way back on the 17th of November 2014 where he would proceed to upload a video on Call of Duty to his YouTube channel. And shortly after his first ever upload, he would continue uploading a series of Call of Duty videos up until the 3rd of February 2018. On this day, Tifu would go on to upload his first ever Fortnite video titled Fortnite 29 Solo vs Squad Kills Crazy Late Game, where he would essentially go on to drop a 29 kill Solo vs Squad's game, which at the time was pretty much unheard of. Shortly after the release of this video, it would gather up over 600,000 views. And with this small amount of success, he would ultimately continue uploading Fortnite videos to his YouTube channel. Uploading high kill games, challenge videos, setup tours, and tournament highlight videos. Around the same time, Tifu would also go on to begin his streaming career. He would stream every single day on Twitch, with him also uploading 3-4 to four high quality videos every week back in 2018. And after a while, Tifu would begin to see massive success on his YouTube channel. And we'd also see success on his Twitch account, with him gathering up over 100,000 followers on Twitch in under three months of streaming and receiving a staggering 500,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Hitting these huge milestones so early on would overall boost Tifu's confidence and cause him to grind even harder. With him streaming 8-10 to 10 hours a day and uploading even sometimes 1-2 to two videos a day. Around the same time, Tifu would also begin to compete in Fortnite tournaments such as the Summer Skirmish and Scrims. And in these events, Tifu would go on to shine. With him usually placing in the top 10. 2019 would then eventually rise roll around. And with 2019 rolling around, Tifu would go on to hit 3 million subscribers on YouTube in early February, with him also gaining millions of followers on Twitch in the process. And around the same time, Tifu's placements were outstanding, with him having placed in the top 5 in the majority of Fortnite tournaments he was competing in. The Fortnite World Cup event would then be announced, and Tifu would go on to qualify for the event after countless hard hours of competing. After making it to the Fortnite World Cup, Tifu would go on to play 67th out of 100 players, which wasn't an overall great placement. However, after the Fortnite World Cup took place, Tifu would go on to continue placing highly in the majority of tournaments he competed in, and would continue grinding his social media pages, quickly rising to the top in the pro scene, content creation scene, and streaming scene. Chapter 1 would then come to an end in late 2019. Personally, I think Tifu was the best and most well-performing player in the whole of Chapter 1 Fortnite. This decision has also been agreed upon with countless other Fortnite players. However, there are also a few honourable mentions for the number one spot of chapter one. And these players will be none other than Ninja and Myth. Ninja was a fellow outstanding player who also rose to the top of the pro and content creation scene. And I can't forget Myth. Myth was truly amazing with his countless top 10 placements alongside Tifu. Chapter 2 would then be introduced on the 15th of October 2019. Shortly after its release, the game would surge with popularity, as Chapter 2 of Fortnite's Battle Royale was by far one of the most entertaining chapters to say the least. From Stark Season to the countless Fortnite entertaining events such as FNCS and more, new in-game features being added such as fishing weapons, new game modes and more, Chapter 2 of Fortnite was overall just an entertaining and fun season to be playing Fortnite in. Chapter 2 would also take place during the 2020 COVID lockdowns, meaning that there were millions of kids all around the world being forced to stay indoors. And with that being said, Fortnite was overall in its prime during the lockdown era. However, during Chapter 2 of Fortnite, there were countless FNCS events that took place, scrims and different tournaments, with there also being millions of dollars up for grabs for the top tier Fortnite players. Now, during this chapter, there were roughly 12 people who I thought stood out from the crowd as a whole, with some of these Fortnite players consisting of Mr. Savage, Benji Fishy, Mustache, Malibuka, Clicks, and more. However, there is once again one player who single-handedly stood out from the crowd entirely. And this player would go on to win countless tournaments. And this player will be none other than Mongrel. Mongrel was an outstanding player 
player at the time and still is until this day. However, back at Chapter 2, he would dominate the Fortnite professional scene, with him having won over $375,000 in Fortnite earnings alone in just one singular chapter. In Chapter 2 of Fortnite, Mongu would go on to win hundreds of tournaments and scrim events, with some of his most notable placements during this chapter being 2nd place in FNCS Season Finals, $30,000 1st place in FNCS Finals, $37,000 Europe Encore, $8,000 and many, many more. Mongu would also shine in the content creation and streaming side of things, with his YouTube channel hitting an insane 2 million subscribers around this time, and his Twitch channel also succeeding massively, with him streaming almost daily and even sometimes up to 8 hours a day, and also gaining millions of followers in the process. Mongu was easily the best player of Fortnite Chapter 2, however there are once again also some very notable mentions I must make, and these players were close behind Mongu in skill level, and overall competitive success during Chapter 2 of Fortnite, and one of these players will be Seti. Seti was an outstanding player, also having hundreds of thousands of dollars in earnings, and being one of the most mechanical players of the time. Tayson is an honourable mention on this list due to his insane skill level and competitive Fortnite success during Chapter 2. Both Seti and Tayson would easily be in the top 5 plays for players during Fortnite Chapter 2. Now for the next chapter on this list, we have none other than Chapter 3. Chapter 3 was by far one of the best chapters regarding weapons and map changes. Epic Games truly did an amazing job with this chapter, additionally holding hundreds of Fortnite tournaments for anyone to compete in. And with that being said, there were over 20 notable Fortnite players who did significantly well in this chapter. From competitive placements to streaming and content creation on YouTube and Twitch, Fortnite Chapter 3 initially began on the 5th of December 2021 and ended on the 2nd of December 2022, which means Chapter 3 was on for roughly one exact year. So during this year, who was the overall best Fortnite player? To answer this question, we need to not only look at the competitive placements, but also their overall playstyle and player mechanics, and overall game sense. So after we put all that into mind, I can cut it down to three very notable pro players who dominated during Chapter 3 Fortnite, and these three players will be Vino, Mero, and Thomas HD. And after looking closely at all of their placements, overall game sense mechanics, and much more, I can confidently say that the best player of Fortnite Chapter 3 would be none other than Mero. Mero is a 19-year-old American Fortnite player who absolutely dominated the Fortnite competitive scene back in 2021 and 2022. From winning multiple FNCS Grand Finals, to winning hundreds of other tournaments and popping off on both YouTube and Twitch. I can confidently say that Mero was easily the best Fortnite player during Chapter 3, and if not, still one of the best Fortnite players until this current day. Mero made his first ever internet appearance by back on the 23rd of August 2018, where Mero would go on to create his well-known YouTube channel we all know today. Then during May of 2020, Mero would go on to upload his first ever Fortnite montage, and in this montage, he would go on to eliminate multiple Fortnite pro players and streamers such as Tifu. Shortly after uploading his first ever video, he would continue to upload more and more videos, uploading Fortnite montages, competitive highlights, controller setting videos, and much, much more. Over time, Mero would begin to build up more of a name for himself, and as time went on, Mero would begin to place better and better in every tournament he competed in, with him having won over 6 FNCSs over his entire career, which is the most any pro player has ever won, with him also having well over $500,000 in Fortnite earnings alone. Alone. With the majority of this money and placements coming during Chapter 3 Fortnite, Mero would also team up with insane fellow pro players such as Tayson, Mongrel, and more, making him literally unstoppable. Whether it be solos, duos, trios, or squads, he would easily be the scariest player to come up against in any tournament. And with him making a huge name for himself in the competitive Fortnite scene, he would also begin popping off on YouTube, with him gaining well over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube during Chapter 3, and additionally gaining over 200,000 followers on Twitch during his prime seasons in Chapter 3. And with all the success Mero was receiving, from competitive Fortnites and content creation and streaming, we can easily say that Mero was the best Fortnite player of Chapter 3, and still is one of the top 10 best players even 3 years later now in 2024. Now for the second last chapter of this video, we have Chapter 4. Chapter 4 was introduced on the 4th of December 2022, and ended on the 3rd of November 2023. So during the 11 months Fortnite Chapter 4 was around, who was the best Fortnite player? To answer this question, I looked deep into over 10 Fortnite pros who performed exceptionally well during Chapter 4, from competitive placements being substantially good, to their social medias also going really well. After counting in both of those factors, I cut it down to three potential players, and these players are Peterbot, Malibuka, and Queasy. All three of these Fortnite pros played exceptionally well during Chapter 4, with them all 
all getting top 10 in the majority of tournaments. But there is one player in particular that sticks out from the rest. And this player will be none other than Peterbot. Peterbot is a 16 year old Fortnite pro from America who during chapter 4 of Fortnite played so well and performed so good in the competitive Fortnite scene that I just had to give him the number one spot on this list for chapter 4. But to understand that Peterbot ended up being the number one player for chapter 4, we need to rewind a little bit. Back on the 31st of October 2020, Peterbot would go on to create his YouTube channel that we all know today. And shortly after, he would begin to upload a series of videos. From montages to competitive tournament highlights, Peterbot would initially see success straight away with his first few videos getting between 20 and 50,000 views each, which for a brand new channel was exceptionally good. Months would go on and Peterbot would continue to grind out his YouTube videos, posting all of his tournament highlights. Peterbot would quickly rise to the top in the Fortnite Pro scene at such a young age, only being 16 years old at the time, whilst also being known as one of the best mechanical and smart decision-making players. With his peace control also being immaculate, Peterbot was unstoppable, and it would show as on the 4th of June 2022, Peterbot would go on to place first in the FNCS Grand Finals event. After having grinded for months prior to the tournament, grinding for upwards of 12 hours a day with his duo, with the ultimate goal of placing first in the FNCS Grand Finals, after months and months of hard work and dedication, Peterbot had finally got what he'd always wanted, a first place FNCS title. With this, he would go on to receive over $130,000 split between him and his duo. And over the next few months, and even up until this day, Peterbot would keep up his insane competitive streak, placing in the top 10 in every tournament he competed in, and him also having brought in over $200,000 in Fortnite earnings alone, which at 16 years old is truly unbelievable and ultimately unheard of. And it was the same story on Twitch. Over the years of streaming, Peterbot had managed to build up a massive audience of Twitch of over 470,000 followers. Peterbot's story was truly inspiring and motivating to say the least, proving that anybody with enough courage and dedication can do anything they desire. Hence the reason Peterbot is the best player of Chapter 4 Fortnite in my personal opinion. Now for the final chapter of this video, we have Chapter 5, which is the current chapter of Fortnite in March 2024. Now in Chapter 5 at this point, Fortnite has been out for just about 7 years now. So in these 7 years with over 500 million users having signed up, there are tens of thousands of pro players who I could pick from. But for the two seasons so far of Chapter 5, there has been one Fortnite pro player that has been performing so well, and is just ultimately one of the smartest Fortnite pro players in the game at this point in time. From their countless top 1 placements, to their combined $340,000 in Fortnite earnings over the years, this Fortnite pro player is named Cold FV. Cold is a 16 year old American Fortnite pro just like Peterbot, and has made it to the FNCS Grand Finals 8 times now, with him also having a Dora FNCS Grand Finals win title to his name, making him one of the top 50 Fortnite players in the world. Now to once again understand how he got to where he is today competitively, and also on the content creation side of things, we need to jump back a few years. January 25th, 2018, Cole would go on to create his YouTube channel, and then shortly after in February 2021, Cole would begin to upload Fortnite highlight videos just like other pros on this list. Then after a few years of uploading, Cole would ultimately hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Shortly after hitting 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, Cole would go on to upload a video on the 8th of March 2023 titled, First Place in FNCS Grand Finals, where he would go on to win a combined $120,000 with his duo. After this major FNCS win, Cole would begin to blow up on YouTube and Twitch, with his FNCS Grand Final win highlight video getting over 400,000 views to date. And now in Chapter 5, Cole has gained well over 44,000 subscribers on YouTube, with him still uploading roughly one high quality video every week. And now in Chapter 5, Cole has managed to obtain over $340,000 in Fortnite earnings alone, over his two and a half year Fortnite competitive career. And keep in mind, Cole is only 16 years old, making him one of the youngest Fortnite pros in the game alongside Peterbot. And on Twitch, Cold has also seen insane success with him having built up an audience of over 90,000 followers, with him averaging 1,000 viewers when he goes live. And with that being said, Cold FV clearly has a massive future in the Fortnite competitive scene. And with his success so far in Chapter 5, I can easily predict that he will most likely win another FNCS in the next few months. And not to forget, I also have two other notable mentions for the top spot of Chapter 5 Fortnite. And the second player who I think deserves an honorable spot on this list is Murstash. Murstash is an insane European Fortnite player who's been playing substantially well in this chapter so far. And the last notable mention of chapter 5 is Acorn. Acorn is another very competitive mechanical Fortnite pro, being known as one of the smartest Fortnite pro players to have ever touched the game. And in chapter 
five acorn is in his prime with his 10 plus top three placements so far and with that being said this was the top fortnite players of chapter 5 fortnite thank you all for watching all the way until the end of the video i really do appreciate any and all support by just simply liking and subscribing and commenting your favorite pro player from this list goes a long way and helps me out tremendously and with that being said i really hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and i'll catch you all in the next video laters